Welcome back everyone. I hope you're all doing well. We're looking at a new site in Proctor. This is to the far south of that strange dune field in Proctor. This is in a region called Nahakistera. The lovely Miss Michelle joins us again for this one in the background. Let's have a look at the original source material, then I'll show you the anomalies. Aris calls this dunes in Proctor Crater, acquired on the 8th of July 2009 at a high res of 25 centimeters per pixel. I'm showing you images cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file. And he has a look at a low res black and white a crop of that area and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these brighter spots that litter this area. So the site's located here to the southern end of the dune field in Proctor at roughly 48 degrees 2 minutes south 29 degrees 58 minutes east. And let's have a look at the first anomaly located here to the left you can use the scale indicator that will give you an idea of how large this piece is. So that's about 8 meters in my estimation from there to there. So you got this strange part sticking off the side of that partial disc shape. And then there's something odd in what looks like an opening over here to the one side. Very uniform in its width. That one there is got a similar width to it as well. So what there could that be, folks? Let me know what you think in the comments, please. And then we're looking at what I think might be a potential wreck or crash of something. I don't know what to make of this. Let's have a closer look at it. It's got this funny black material. Very, very different to the surface in this entire photograph. Looks like this has been disturbed recently as well. And it's got that strange twisted piece sticking out of that darker area. Not quite sure what to make of this, folks. Right, let's have a look at the square item over there, about 8 by 8 meters in size. Nice right angles and straight edges to it. Smooth, flat surfaces. And then this part over here looks almost like a partial hexagon shape. Then it's got that triangular part underneath. That to me looked rather odd as well. And then this long narrow part. We've seen so many long narrow parts in Procter already as well. That there I would say is about, can we say 15 meters long. Check this out folks. And then it's got another odd piece of here as well to the top. Alright, let's take a closer look at the site. And the anomalies just briefly again. There's two dome shapes or sphere shapes I didn't include in this video, but they're about 8 meters in diameter. And then that strange turtle shaped part over there about 5 meters across. Let's have a look at some of the other anomalies that I've found here in the past. Give you some context of this area. Some of these square blocks or slabs. Right, where is that other one that I'd like to show you? 
Give me a moment here, folks. There's another one I wanted to feature in this video. Just go ahead and have a look at the other sites and the anomalies. Yeah, I haven't featured this one for a while, so it's good I'm opening this one again. And then, uh, let's see, I think this one's got those long narrow pieces in it as well. So this is at the far northern tip of the dune field. And yeah, the other side we looked at to the far south. One of those long narrow parts. There's that strange turtle shape there. There's a lot in this photograph. Where are those long narrow parts? gone halfway there's one some of you have commented they look like boats overturned boats possibly as well These two could they be kills of uh, some type of boat? And with that said, we've reached the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Share it with like minded friends. See if we can get to the bottom of what we're looking at. It seems the more we find, the more questions we have. Thanks for watching, Michelle, and I'll see you in the next one soon. Bye for now.